What's the question I'm most afraid of? One that asks me what I'm really made of. What do I see? Much more than a reflection, romance with sheer perfection. Your guests are here, Miss Ashton. A Miss Helen Sharp with a gentleman. Uh -huh. I'd like you to meet Dr. Ernest Menville, uh, my fiance. You were just wonderful. Boy. Ernest Menville, Dr. Ernest Menville, the plastic surgeon. Yes, you you were so terrific. She wants you. She wants you because you're mine. I've lost men to her before. She just turns on that flash and that glitter and they're gone. That's why I wanted you to meet her before we got married, because I just had to see if you could pass the Madeline Ashton test. Please. Please don't fail. I couldn't take it again. I... I don't know what I'd do. Oh, madam, you look younger every day. Thank you, Rose. Thank you very much. It's so sweet of you to... What is this? Uh, those are your tickets for Helen Sharp's book party tonight. It just came. <clears throat> Helen Good afternoon, Miss Ashton. Three o'clock with Anna. Yes, I know. You may go down. Good afternoon, Miss Ashton. How are you? So good to see you. Listen, I've got a really important party tonight. Really? You understand? I'm not... sensitive to your torment. Excuse me. But unfortunately, we are mere mortals here. We are restricted by the, the laws of nature. Well... But unfortunately, we are mere mortals here. We are restricted by the, the laws of nature. I wonder, Miss Ashton, if perhaps you have ever heard of... Uh... Liesl von Ruman. No. No, of course you haven't. Well, very few have. Only a select group. It is a very, very select group, do you understand? I'm glad this happened, Miss Ashton. We shall be seeing more of you, I think. Yes, I think so. Madeline! I need to speak to Madeline at once. No. Madeline, I need to speak to Madeline at once.
Good evening. I hope it's not... Not at all, you. Miss Ashton. Miss Von Rubin's expecting you. She is? Wait here, please. Wait here, please. I hope you'd come. Make some room for my friend, for Christ's sake. But! Keep your ass handy. Tonic, a potion, you and your body are going to be together a long time, be good to it, sempre viva, live forever. the most monstrous things and she's dead and I did it. I didn't think I'd be able to, but I just had this feeling inside of me that I couldn't contain. And we're free, Helen, but I'm afraid I'm gonna burn in hell because her neck is broken and there's no pulse and she's dead. Exactly which part of the plan were you unclear on? Don't come near me or follow me. Don't come near me or follow me or talk to me. I don't intend to. I just have to make a telephone call. I just have to make a telephone call. 
911, right? You're in the shit house now, pal. Are you okay, honey? Yeah. Oh. I think I need a doctor. One thing, Hell. You brought this on yourself. Madeline! Oh, my God! We put the body right here. Boy! Today really shaped up in a hurry, didn't it? You know, did you ever notice how some days can start out so shitty and then can do a bunch of Suddenly something wonderful happens, and your whole, I don't know, your whole outlook just suddenly changes. That was totally uncalled for. I hardly needed it. So that's why you look the way you do. What? You should learn not to compete with me. I always win. Ha! Ha! You may have always won, but you never played fair. Oh! Uh. oh. Uh. I don't care how I played. I won! I'll just be upstairs. Uh. Well, that's because you could raise your legs higher and wider than anyone. And better! But look at you now. Yeah. Earn, darling. Helen and I want to apologize for that little thing downstairs. We've got it out of our systems now. Completely gone. <sighs> yeah, thank God. It was so yeah, awful hating you and envying you at the same time. You envied me? Oh, I envied you. You did not. I did, too. You, you yes, did? I well, did. specifically, what part did you envy? Well, what a great point. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh it's amazing. Oh. Not a blemish, not a pore. Oh. Say what you will about Ernest, but the man is a genius. He is. He's a genius. Oh. Wait a minute. You just got a little what? thing. Ooh! Ooh! Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I think it's still wet. Ooh, can Ernest fix this? Yeah, I'll go get him before he leaves. But wait a minute. What, what if this happens again? What if it fades? What if it chips? What if it rains? Will he come back for touch-ups? Even if he does, he's not going to live forever. Oh, that's not good. Well, what are we going to do? We're in trouble. Uh -huh. Ernest is gone. We can't go back to Liesel's. She specifically told us to take care of our bodies. And look at us. Uh. We're dead. Uh. Oh, this is so embarrassing. No, no. You know what this is? This is just simply a, a question of uh, maintenance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is upkeep. We just have to be very, very careful with ourselves. We have to take care of each other. Mm -hmm. I'll paint your ass, you paint mine. <laughs> Who could have imagined yeah. you and me I know. together, <laughs> depending on each other? <laughs> Who could have imagined yeah. you and me I know. together? <laughs> What? You're not crying, are you? I'm not crying. I have something in my eye. Mm -hmm.
This man had, in his own way, learned the secret of eternal life. Blah, 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 blah.